this lecture is about authority citation authority citation means uh, the name of the author which is given uh, to the plant along with the plant name it is defined as the uh, authority citation means it is a method in which the name of the author who first published this section in a scientific journal follows the name of the section. For example, uh, this is Orizus sativa. It is a rice plant. It was named by Linnaeus. So, according to this definition in authority citation, the name of this author, this is the author L, Linnaeus who first published the taxon Linnaeus first published this taxon this varizus sativa follows the name of the taxon follows mean first uh, comes the oriza sativa and then L so this Linnaeus this L follows this oriza sativa this is the method of authority citation sometimes it happens that uh, in some plants, for example, here is an example. Uh, one plant is named by an author and uh, he makes no description. Then another author makes the description. For example, uh, Robert Brown is a scientist. He named this plant Caperis lesienta, but he made no description. Later on, uh, another scientist, which is Deacon Dolly, he was a taxonomist. He made the description of this plant. So the name is written in this case Caperis legenda, which was discovered uh, first by Robert Brown. Uh, and uh, Robert Brown is written here. EX and description were made by Deacon Dolly. So uh, it is written here as DC. This is the method uh, when a uh, plant is described by some another scientist. Another case is that one plant is published by two authors. For example, uh, there are uh, some plants which are published by two authors. When more than one author is present, then uh, and or it is present between their name. For example, uh, Opantia polaridae. This is a plant. Uh, it, it was published by uh, Britain and Rose. And uh, as they are two scientists, uh, then it or and is written here in center. This is another method. And sometimes a plant is raised to a specific rank. Uh, and then it is written as, for example, this is a Medicago polymorpha. First, it was polymorpha. Uh, this was named by Linnaeus. Uh, its variety is Arbicularis. Uh, then it was raised to high rank by Elioni. And after that, the name is written as Medicago arbicularis instead of Medicago polymorpha because after its character was studied and it was right to some another groups uh, which are higher in rank and then the lineage is written in bracket and then L means Elioni. This is another method. Polyneme is interesting. Uh, uh, sorry, polynomes. Uh, uh, poly means many, norms means to assign them. Uh, now, uh, this method is discarded. What happens in this? Uh, the name of a plant consists of many parts. For example, once a plant was found as Renanculus muricatus, it was named as Renanculus muricatus. Then, another plant looking like the same but with different leaves. Uh, it was named as Renanoclas, Muricatus, Parviflorum, due to different leaves. Then another plant of the same family, of the same structural character, was found and it was named as Renanoclas, Muricatus, Parviflorum, Albifolium, due to white flower. So when the character were added, the name were also enlarged or increased in, in variety. Next is Tartonymy. Uh, this is the use of binomial name which consists of uh, two parts which are both are similar for example generic name and specific epithet are similar this is an example phagophyrum phagophyrum or malus 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 is uh, an apple 
it was later uh, later on became uh, pyrus mellus however this is uh, this was a method of uh, writing a name uh, statonymy and uh, this one homo means similar uh, name means to assign them two species uh, with the same specific epithet for example a venus sativa medigago sativa etc etc both have sativa sativa this is the uh, called as homo 